I have now is going to be half a little bit theory. I'm going to share a little bit of my background, the experience that I have with sex, with tantra, with honoring the feminine, dating, and all sorts of things like that. Uh, it's a lot about energy. And uh, the second part is going to be much more dynamic. I will see halfway how you feel. So if you're ready to go for it, we're going to go into tribal sexual activation. And I will show you some demonstrations, some techniques that we can use as a tribe to really, really build up energy. Because something that you notice right now over here is that uh, there are maybe three women in the room and about, I don't know, maybe 50 guys, right? So what do we do? Do we just get frustrated? Or can we do something together that is going to release the sexual impulses that we have inside of us? So that's the, the question that we have. So the first thing I want to do, or to uh, offer my gratitude to, is to all of you for doing the work that you have been doing. I've been freaking impressed by what I've seen so far, not only from the presenters, but from all of you. Yesterday I went to the club, to Creative, and what I saw over there was really exciting. And it was fun. It was a whole bunch of guys getting rejected, making out, having tons of approaches and really going for it. And the picture that was painted there was very energetic. I was in the middle of all that and I was observing this whole dance of energy going on. And it was really exciting to watch. Why? Because there was a very high degree of sexual freedom. The sexual energies were free, they were flowing. And that gave the room, the space, Lots of energy. It was exciting to watch. It was exciting to be in the middle of, of it. So thank you for playing. Thank you for going that way. Because what you are doing is impacting on a scale which goes way, way faster than yourselves as individuals. It's impacting on your environment, on your family, on your friends, maybe on your kids. It's having an impact on a large scale. And this is fundamental. It's essential for the transformation of the planet. The term that I use for what I teach is vital sex. Vital sex. Why vital? Because it's life force. And because it is essential in our lives. If we live in a world where our sexual energies are locked, we turn into these kind of creepy creatures. How do you feel when you are masturbating behind your computer? Does that feel good? No. No? At the end. <laughs> so, what, what we can take a moment to look at is what is the state of the sexual energy on the planetary level. Think about it.